Good morning to you. I'm Teresa Dufour with the CT Style Express. Learning and teaching has certainly changed over the past two months, but Area Cooperative Educational Services, or ACES, is still working to provide top-notch education and services. Here with all the details is Executive Director, Dr. Thomas Danahy. Doctor, thanks for being here. Good to be here. Thanks for having me, Teresa. So tell me a little bit how ACES is adjusting to this new normal. Oh my goodness. So we have had the shock of our lives. Uh, back in March 13th, we started to close down our schools for the safety of our students and, and staff. And in the world of education, this is a real game changer because as you might know, and you know from your own education, most of our work is is really in person, uh, needs to be close to, to people to be able to teach kids and interact with people. So it's a very social environment. And then when we have social distancing, which is in the best interest of everybody around safety, that's definitely a, com a complex change. Um, what was amazing to me was how great and innovative the staff were uh, that first week and a couple weeks thereafter to get us up and going on distance learning. And they've been absolutely incredible. Sure, and how are you keeping students and teachers informed through this whole process? So we have uh, weekly updates. We have this uh, Parent Square communication uh, mechanism, software system, um, where people can get, um, they can get phone calls, they can take, get text messages, emails, but it's really an opportunity to get a lot of information out to people regularly to keep them informed. Um, most recently, and actually this is uh, good information, the Resc Alliance, there are six regional education service centers in Connecticut, were reaching out to uh, the community as a whole, seeking their input on what happens with reopening schools. Mm -hmm. So we have a thought exchange uh, system that people can enter responses to prompts and uh, weigh in on how that should look and considerations that we need to make sure we're uh, taken care of before we do reopen. Sure. And I know that uh, a big part of ACES was um, therapy. And are you doing this over the computer now? Yes. Yeah, so what's interesting is uh, we do have teletherapy and we provide services for behavior services, OT, PT, uh, social work and counseling. Uh, and that can all happen by video. Um, so it's really a way to engage parents and students in meaningful ways when we can't be near each other and, you know, having a, a conversation or a work session, a therapy session in person. This does allow us to provide video streaming to uh, help and support people in that regard. Regard. Sure, and there's also a grab and go lunch program. Yeah, so it's uh, it's great. So each day we have uh, lunches available for pickup between 11 and 12 at Mill Road School in North Haven. Uh, right as soon as this happened, we kicked off our lunch program. We had delivery service. Uh, we do have about a thousand employees. 365 people are in the uh, work with the. Uh, teacher assistant drivers in that capacity, and they were delivering lunches and learning packets to families in need uh, out there in the New Haven environment, uh, New Haven community. Um, but it's open all, all day, um, not all day. It, it, the lunch pickup is from 11 to 12 at Mill Road School if anybody needs a lunch. We also have weekend packages, foods available for families in need for that. Oh, it's so great. important. That's terrific you're doing that. And Dr. Leslie, let me ask you, what are some of the, the life lessons we've kind of learned here with distance learning? Uh, so I think for, for, I can speak for more than just myself, but really it's around flexibility. It's around trying new things in the first go round, people are not going to have it down. It's not going to be perfect, mm -hmm. but it's really through trial and error and learning, uh, how to use the systems and to, uh, to be more effective. But even our growth and development in this area from March 15th, uh, to, to today has been tremendous. Uh, and we're able to deliver, um, lessons to, to families and uh, students out there. We're be able to provide professional development in meaningful ways, which we weren't able to do given the time constraints of school. Uh, but really, it, it allows for us to really branch out in a variety of new ways to, uh, to get bases covered. Yeah, you're getting it done nonetheless. Dr. Den, he thank you so much for talking with us via Zoom today. And of course, you can learn more over at aces.org. Thank you, Teresa. Sure. Have a great weekend. Thank you.